Welcome back YouTube, I'm Ahmed again from In-Depth Tech Reviews and here's another video between Google Assistant and Siri. As you may know, Google and Apple added extra functionalities to their virtual assistants to help us with the current situation of the coronavirus. So now you can ask both of them some questions about the virus and they should give us some answers. So let's see how helpful each assistant when it comes to the COVID-19 questions or the coronavirus. But before getting started, let's make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified every time I post a new video. So let's jump in. So let's start with the most basic question, which is how many cases around the world? And I will start with Google Assistant. How many coronavirus cases in the world? Here are some details. So as you see here, Google Assistant showed me a heat map and also the list of top countries and also the total numbers at the top, uh, the confirmed cases, the recovered cases and deaths. Uh, and if you want to know more, you can click on view full map and that will take you to the website showing you all the countries of the world that have coronavirus cases. All right. So let's see how Siri will respond to the same question. How many coronavirus cases in the world? I found this on the web. So as you see on Siri, you get uh, results from the web and the first website that comes up is the worldmeters.info. I'm sure all of you should be aware of it right now. And that's a third party website uh, that gives you all the data you need about the virus. Uh, however, in Google side or the Google Assistant, uh, Google actually created a dedicated website for this matter. So that's why the results looks a little bit cleaner and refined while here on Siri, you only get the results from the web. So now I'm going to ask the same question, but this time I'm going to ask about a specific country. How many coronavirus cases in United Arab Emirates? Here are some details. So now Google Assistant is showing you the same uh, table, but this time is putting United Arab Emirates at the top of the list because this is the country are asking for and then the normal list of countries comes after. So let's try that on Siri. How many coronavirus cases in United Arab Emirates? I found this on the web. So now Siri is also giving you results from the web, but this time it's giving you Wikipedia and the national.ae and other websites like Al Jazeera and so on. So you just need to read the article to know more information and I don't think these articles are updated, but it's not actually straightforward as on Google Assistant. So now let's ask a little bit more tricky question, which is how many cases reported today? How many coronavirus cases reported today? Here are some results from the web. So as you see this time, Google Assistant is getting the results from the web as well, like Siri and the worldmeters.info website is the second choice and you can check further if you want. So let's check how Siri will respond to this. How many coronavirus cases reported today? I found this on the web. So as you see pretty much the same results, you get the worldmeters.info website as the first option here on Siri and there is nothing different between the two in this question. So let's jump into the next one. Now let's ask each assistant what are the symptoms of the virus. What are the symptoms of the coronavirus? According to World Health Organization, people may be sick with the virus for 1 to 14 days before developing symptoms. The most common symptoms of coronavirus disease COVID-19 are fever, tiredness, and dry cough. Most people, about 80%... So as you see, Google Assistant provided a very detailed answer with all the known symptoms of the coronavirus. So let's try that on Siri. What are the symptoms of the coronavirus? If you're worried you might have coronavirus, a few questions can help you understand your situation. Ready to begin? Yes. Okay. Do you have any of the following? Fever, dry cough, or trouble breathing? Yes. 
Are your symptoms extreme or life threatening? Yes. If you need emergency services, say call 911. No, thank you. Symptoms like fever, dry cough, or trouble breathing are common signs of coronavirus. Stay home and separate yourself from others. Contact a medical provider if your condition worsens. So as you saw, Siri acted totally different than Google Assistant. It started to ask me some questions, like if I'm worried that I have coronavirus and I want to start the questionnaire. Uh, I said yes, and then based on my answers, it provided me with an advice. Um, so those are two different approaches, but both of them provided us with the same information at the end. So I think both of them are doing well in this part. So let's ask one more question. How to protect myself from the coronavirus? Here are some details. So here in Google Assistant, uh, it's, tell it's telling me to stay home as much as I can, uh, keep a safe distance, wash hands often, cover your cough, and if you are sick, call ahead. So let's see how Siri will respond to this. How to protect myself from the coronavirus? I found this on the web. So here Siri is providing me again with web results. It doesn't actually give me the information straight away. And those are the websites I got. So I think Google Assistant was a little bit better here because Google has their own website that include all the information you need about the virus. While an, uh, Apple doesn't have a website, so it gives you the results from the web as usual. One final question, and here I'm going to ask each assistant to help me wash my hands. Help me wash my hands. Wash, wash, wash your hands for 40 seconds, please. Soap will chase the germs away so you don't... So as you see, Google Assistant will sing a very silly song for 40 seconds, and that's the best amount of time to clean your hands perfectly. And let's see how Siri will respond to the same question. Help me wash my hands. That may be beyond my abilities at the moment. So that's another funny response from Siri. It's beyond its abilities to help me wash my hands. So that's very smart. And I think I'm done with all the questions in mind to see how each assistant will respond to the COVID-19 questions or the coronavirus. So I think both of them provide very basic information at the moment. And I hope Google and Apple will add extra information that we can really take advantage of in the current situation. I don't have anything in mind, but I'm looking forward to see what each company will do. So please stay safe at home and don't help spreading the virus. And I wish you all the best of luck. And if you like my video, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.